Coronavirus, coronavirus, what's up, what's up, what's up, stay safe gang, had a pretty warm weekend, whole weekend been pretty warm, then today come, got goddamn cold out here, god dang it, been, been warm all weekend, we get to early Monday morning, and then a hawk come back out. Hope everybody enjoyed their weekend, man. Y'all seen me on uh, on Instagram over the weekend. I was drinking Coronas. Y'all want to know the secret to drinking drinking hot coffee? I told one of my buddies this a while back that it's not really a coffee drinker. The secret to drinking hot coffee. Just put a little cold water in it. Just put a little cold water in it, man. Take some of the bite off. You can't put ice in it, but. You can't put ice, but think about ice here. It might make it too cold. It melt, then the coffee be too cold, you can't drink it. I don't like drinking cold coffee. I like, you know, Warm flavored coffee. Uh, I like warm coffee, but not scalding hot. Not scalding hot. Just like warm, right there in the middle. Something like that. See y'all a little bit later. I gotta hit the road. <sighs> no truck parking day or night. Towing enforced. Drop this little thing off. I'm about to show y'all something else. Some pretty grass though. This is it right here, what I'm about to show you. Small deliveries and pickups in back. Small deliveries and pickups in back, large deliveries streets. So I think they kind of contradicted themselves, but I'm here. Man, damn door locked. I don't know if they shut down for the coronavirus or if if uh, they don't open till nine o'clock. Not sure. Somebody go in here and check the load notes real quick. I'm at the right place. Fiber works. That's what it says right there. Let me check the load notes. Cause the load notes didn't even have an address. I'm gonna check the load notes and see if they got a time, specific time that this place opens up. Well, the load note says eight o'clock. I would have been here at eight o'clock, but they got a lot of construction uh, work going on right up the street. It's eight eleven right now. I'm gonna see if I can make a phone call, see if I can uh, get a hold of somebody. So check this out. That's the address. I got the phone number right there. I called the number, nobody answered. So I'm about to walk around to the back and see if uh, see if there's anybody back there that can help me. Yeah, that front door is locked though. So let's try this again. 
Hey, finally got somebody. Got two doors right there. That's two. Then they got like three, four, five. I got to the fifth door. It said, uh, what it says, ship deliveries and receive. Yeah, something like that. Had a doorbell up there, run the doorbell. Somebody came out. Hey, I was about to, I was about to be pretty pissed off at first. But hey, they got it together. Woo! Let me get these straps off so I can get unloaded. I just got the New York load when I was on the way here. They went ahead and sent me that New York load. So I know it's not canceled as of right now. So as soon as I get empty right here, I head to uh head to Columbia. Y'all didn't get to see my truck the other day. Yeah, it's pretty clean, ain't it? Kind of dirty now, but it was clean the other day. Let's get these straps off. Easiest load ever. Just like that. Yeah, he got it. I think I go turn around in that warehouse parking lot. They shouldn't mind. Not at all. I know what it is. American Spirewell, Columbia, South Carolina. I tell you what, I come here almost every week. And about the last 10 times I came, I've gotten a live load. It's the first time I came in about five months and I'm picking up a preloaded trailer. So I'm about to be in and out of here. I gotta take a 30 minute break while I'm here, so. I do that before I head out. I got another PNS truck sitting up here. I'm about to talk to him real quick. Cause he was here before me. I don't understand why they didn't give him the um give him the damn live with a preload. Cause he's he's been sitting here. I'm about to stop and talk to him real quick. Something different about this load. Usually we go to go to Queens and do a drop and hook. This time we're going up there and Bringing some trailers back. I guess you know they're getting ready to shut New York down, so got to get the trailers out of there. Where you at, buddy? Talk to him real quick. He in the damn sleeper. What's up, man? You going to Queens? Oh, where you headed to? Louisville. Hey, ain't never been. All right, I thought you were going to Queens. That's why I asked. All right. All right, he going to Queens. Well, he can say he going to Louisville. I'm going to Queens. Make sure I got the right trailer. Five, five, one, three, oh, eight, four, eight. That's what the lady told me. Gotta find this trailer. I never picked up one like that. It must not be a PNS trailer. It must be a. Oh, uh, there's a Shelton truck right there. There's a Shelton trailer at the front. So it must be a Shelton trailer. Got a WTI guy right here. Make sure I don't hit him. I don't want to squash him like a pancake. Yeah, this is a Shelton trucking trailer right here. So that's probably. First time I pulled a Shelton trailer. Yeah, that's got to be it right here. I can't see the trailer number. I can't see the trailer number. I'm going to have to get out real quick.
man. That's the lady. That's the trailer that the lady told me. But that ain't the right damn trailer number. Go check in at the office again. It looks like my load, but according to the bills, it ain't the right trailer. Now y'all know how that goes. I can't hook up to it. Maybe they got the trailer number wrong, or maybe they got my trailer round back. I'm about to get some verification. Well, I just hook up to it. Hey, y'all know how it goes. Y'all know how this shit go. So I'm about to go check in at the office real quick. But we're gonna make sure we got it right. That ain't the right damn trip. So apparently, that is my trailer. But they ain't got it down. I don't know. The lady took the bills from me. safety worth living for. Safety worth living for. So she told me that is my load. So hey, we're gonna listen to what the woman told me. I ain't got nowhere to turn around in there, so I gotta go all the way around and come back up. Alright, we better get this shit together. Get it right, get it right, get it tight. Booty, 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 booty rocking everywhere. Y'all remember that Bubba Sparks? I found you, Miss New Booty. Get it together, bring it back to me. Hey, apparently that's my trailer. So we're gonna roll with it. I'll tell y'all one thing though. Whenever I do get live loaded here, I always I always throw straps on that uh on that bottom layer. I like those straps on the bottom layer before I throw them over the top. But when they preload it, they don't they don't throw no straps on that damn middle layer. So I gotta throw all of them over the top. That's a Shelton truck on my left. For all y'all guys that be asking me about Shelton, I don't know too much about them. That's a Shelton truck right there. And I'm picking up a, a Shelton trailer. Alright, we all right, we all work together. Y'all see I ain't got no room to turn around in here. Yeah. I ain't putting no straps in the middle. So I gotta put all my straps, throw all the straps over the top. A blind side hook up to a trailer. I don't know how y'all What's the technical term for that? Oh man. The thing about the thing about Bob Taylor, <laughs> you so used to turning your wheel the opposite direction with a trailer. When you bob tail, you still want to do the same thing. You gotta break that habit. Yeah, it's a hard habit to break. Still want to down act like you got a trailer, so you be turning the wheel the opposite direction. It's kind of kind of tricky, not tricky, but trippy. That's the word. Trippy. Ah. See, we get this thing in here. Might have to get one more pull up on it. I can get it right here. Let's see, let's see. No, that ain't it. I might have to go drop the damn trailer down a little bit because it's like it's a little too high.
to see if this is it right here. Let me get out and look. Yeah, that's it. Just got to back it up now. Woo! Woo! Got it in there. Let's get this thing secure. Hey, y'all want to work for Shelton? There's the phone number right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight straps on it. They're already tight. I got about five hours on my clock. I'm about to call this guy and see what time he wants to unload it. If he wants to wait till Wednesday, because I could try to get there tomorrow, but if he wants to wait until Wednesday, I'm going to stop by the house today and take my 10 hours. Get up out of here, gang. Get up out of here. I ain't going to the house. I just called a guy. He told me if I can get it there tomorrow, he wants me to be there tomorrow. That's that's better for me anyway. Because uh I gotta get I gotta get those trailers loaded up on me. So I don't know how long that's gonna take. All right, Mr. Avery Express. Get on up out of the way now. We got the big dogs coming through. I don't know if he's back. Looks like he stopped. Yeah, all right, buddy. They got a guy standing up here. He ain't up here right now. But it's a guy checking your temperature when you come in. If it's over 105, you can't come inside the gate. About to get checked out. Let's see what this message says. I just see what this message says. I wonder if my DM going to say that I said, Did you send the right trailer number? Well, the trailer number I sent got an S on it. Because this, um, that's, that's the trailer number. Got an S in front of the digits. So let's see. Let's stop real quick and see what she got to say. And I got a message that got back. Tell him. What uh, trailer I got. Dion, please verify the trailer number that you picked up in Columbia. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. That's the trailer number. Let me, let me check the bills. S130848. Yeah, that's the trailer. Get out and make sure that the one on the bills is the same as the trailer. Yeah, I knew I had it right. I knew I knew that's what she was gonna say. It's a Shelton trailer. It got an S in front of the numbers. Been, I've been on drive. I ain't put myself. Man. I gotta call that guy back. I 
they didn't give me a map like they usually do. Usually they give you a map of what order your trailer goes in. They didn't give it to me. I called him back after I called PNS back. Sit the road, D. We ain't got time to play. People in New York need water. They need these pipes. Hey, Evie, let me call you right back. I got to call my job real quick. All right. That was my girl. Now I'm about to call PNS and tell my DM. Yeah, that's the right trailer number. Y'all can't hear it. Hey, Vicky, that trailer number I sent you, that's, that's the trailer number. That's, that's an S on the front of it. It's a Shelton trailer. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Yeah, I knew that's why she was calling. I know my DM, man. Hey. Hey, you check. Hey, ain't, ain't, ain't that how it usually go? When you do something out of the ordinary, it's just... People get confused. <laughs> Y'all seen? I had drove by the trailer. I drove by the trailer, uh, and then I was like, "That can't be the right trailer." I went back to the office to find out if it was the right trailer, and that was the right trailer. And now my bills I got right now, they got it right. At first they didn't have they had they had like a five one number, and I knew that was kind of off because PNS trailers like the first two digits is the year of the trailer. Like if you get like a trailer with trailer number one eight. That means 2018 trailer. But the trailer number I had was like five, five, one something. So I was like, yeah, that don't seem right. But hey, we got it figured out. About to hit the road, man. I got five hours, nine minutes on the clock. I got like three hours before I, before I can get to the house. So run them three hours. Then I got like two more hours left after that. And maybe I can make it to, uh, Maybe I can make it to the Virginia border tonight. Up there that loves exit four. Got an IHOP in the parking lot. Maybe I can make it there. But hey, we're gonna do the best we can do. I got five hours, so what time is it now? 12, so that means I'll be off the road by seven something. And I rush start back rolling in the morning at 5 a.m. around that time. And we're gonna try to get to New York. I told the man I'll be there by two o'clock, so. I don't, I don't know what time I'll be there. Hopefully, I'll be there by 2 o'clock. A lot of damn traffic at this uh, crossroads. I need to hurry up and get on out there. A lot of traffic. Come on, buddy. If you come on, I can get out. Woo! Hey, we got a set of train tracks coming up here. One time, I was coming through here. I know they got the train tracks right here. And usually, you don't see a train coming through. One time, damn train came out of nowhere. Like, I'm about, you about to see these train tracks. I was coming around this curve right here, and the damn train, like, as soon as it came around the curve, the arms started going down. Look, you about to see. They need to put a sign a little further back before you get to this curve to tell you it's a train track right there. So I was coming around the curve, I had a little bit of speed, and the damn arm, like, about, right, about where I'm at right now, the arms dropped. So I had to slam on brakes. As soon as I got right to the train intersection, where I'm at right now, the arms came all the way down. And then the train came by. So I'm not too, I'm not sure how often trains actually use that intersection. But it's definitely right there. If you ever come to this area, make sure you be careful. I wasn't talking on the phone or nothing. I was just driving. Eyes wide open. Anyway, man. Hey, we're about to head on uh. We're about to get on 77. We're about to make this right up here. Get on 77. Ride that for about 10 miles. Then we're going to get on 20. 20 eastbound. Ride 20. 
There's another PNS right there. Hey, hey y'all always running late. Oh, that's actually a Shelton too. A lot of Shelton, a lot of Shelton trucks there. And I talked to that WTI driver, and I also talked to that Shelton driver that was parked with that old school truck. They're going to the Florida Keys. Uh, they were asking me if I ever been. I was like, nah, I never been to the Florida Keys. So that's where they going. That's probably where he's going too. That other PNS driver, he going to Louisville. I never did that one. Only pipes, the only place I ever took pipes out of that place was I've been to Queens, I've been to the Bronx, I've been to Brooklyn, and I've been to Texas, right outside Corpus. Yeah, it was Corpus Christi. It was like it's a little town right outside Corpus Christi. But other than that, that's all I've done. I've never been to Florida. My other buddy that used to work over here named Trey, he been to Florida. I never been. So I guess the guy was trying to ask me, you know, about the load or whatever, how it works. I couldn't tell him nothing about it. And he actually thought, he actually said his job told him to talk. I said, man, you can't talk to your damn pipes. I mean, I guess you could if you had a ladder, climb on top of them. I said, man, you ain't got to talk to your damn pipes. All right, gang. We're going we're gonna, to to be continue this one. Next time y'all see me, I'll be in New York. Flatbed gang, I'm out.